A lot of people want to get rich. A lot of people want to make their first million. They want to make multiple millions. You're not going to go from being broke to balling overnight. There's levels and it's very difficult to skip the levels, if not impossible. So I want to break down exactly how you can actually level up from wherever you are to whatever financial level you want to be. And it's a simple formula. If you do not follow this formula, or if you try to skip steps, you'll never even come close to reaching the elite levels of financial stability and I don't want you to meet that fate. If you ever played a video game and there's different levels to this game. So level one, start off with this guy and he has nothing. Boom. He's just a guy in the game and maybe you got to fight with your hands, you know, but the level's easy. Then you get to level number two. Nima, is this how video games work? Like I haven't, I don't have a whole lot of experience with video games in my... Yeah, it's typically pretty easy in the beginning because and you're then, also then learning. You level up. Yeah, but exactly. as you level up, you may get some different abilities or different things that will help you, right? So you get to level two. Oh man, now he's got a gun. Bam. Oh, now he's about to get it in, right? So th now he has an advantage. He has some leverage. However, the level is a lot more difficult. So he actually needs this on level two. Boom. He beats level two, level three. Maybe he's got, now he's got two guns. He's going crazy. He's going ham. But the level's significantly harder, just for example. Without the gun he got from le being level one, he wouldn't even be able to compete on level two. Like it wouldn't even work. You know what I'm saying? But then he beats level two and then he gets, he gets these ne next guns and now he can actually compete on level three. But without getting the guns, without upping his skill set, Level three would have been impossible for this guy. Hope you're following me right now. Well, I want you to know that that's life, especially when it, when it comes to balling. Balling is all about leverage. And there's four different forms of leverage. You know, I read a book recently. I read a lot of stuff by this guy, uh, Nassim Talib. You know, he's a venture capitalist, real smart dude. And he says there's three forms of leverage. I'm going to say there's four, but I definitely got a lot of this from Nassim, so I will credit him. He said the three types of leverage are first money, people then he said media those are the three forms of leverage i'm going to add a fourth one which is skills talent or knowledge now first let me explain these four arguments too. so with money obviously that's money if you have some cash some income you can do more things with it. especially you want to start a business you can pay to get the products manufactured you can pay for advertisements money will buy you a lot of things you can get employees or people to work for you and they can do a lot of the work so now your time gets multiplied the time that's getting put in your business is multiplied by every person that you add media this can be like social media it could be television, print, all that stuff. For example, Kim Kardashian, right? She can make a million dollars like this week by just doing a post on Instagram for a brand. It's a lot of leverage there. Makes sense. And then skills. Nassim didn't mention skills in, in his book, or maybe I missed it, but I think skills is a, is a great form of leverage. I grew up with a guy named Larry Fitzgerald. He's one of the best wide receivers of all time. His grandfather and my dad were friends growing up, South South Chicago. So I knew Larry and I, I would see him on holidays and stuff. And we were around the same age and he got sent away to live with his uncle, Chris Carter, who was one of the you know Hall of Fame wide receiver when he was a kid. So he got tutelage under him and he was taught the skill of being an amazing wide receiver. That skill, he was able to translate to multiple millions of dollars in the NFL. He didn't have money, people or leverage. When I say people, people to work for you, but he did have a mentor that had to help, help him get skills. So I'm gonna add skills. In that. Okay, let's see how this plays out. So let's say you're trying to become successful, Boom, boom, boom. trying to reach the mountain of success. It's a success mountain. That's a flag. I know what you're thinking. Randy, you're such an amazing artist. I'm like, I know. So this success mountain, you, it's the mountain you want to climb, but there's levels here. There's levels to this. So you, you start off with nothing. Boom. You have no leverage. Let's say you have no time, no money. Nobody knows you, so you don't have no media. You don't really have any skills. All you really have is time. Let's say this guy's name is Demarcus. Demarcus, he wants to be a drug kingpin. However, Demarcus is is just a guy he, he's a guy he's living in i don't know south side chicago and he doesn't have any resources he doesn't know anybody how does he rise the rank well first he doesn't have any money or media or skills or anything like this that he uses leverage so he's got to use time so what does the markets do he starts working for another dope dealer so the dope dealer gives him some drugs <laughs> and the markets goes out on the corner and he sells it to junkies and crackhead over time marcus he you know marcus is a smart guy so he's he spends less than he earns from drug dealing and he's been able to stack up enough money now 
Now the markets can start buying drugs in bulk. Like he, now he's like, okay, man, now I'm gonna buy a few ounces at a time. Boom! Now he's buying out. He's buying ounces instead of getting getting on consignment like he was at first. Now he's buying the work. Cool. And because he's buying it, he can buy more than he can sell. So what he does is he gets some other guys from the neighborhood. Hey man, y'all give you these, this man, this much drugs. So you you get an ounce. You get an ounce. You get an ounce. Bring me back this much. And they go out. Boom! They hustling now. He's using the leverage of people. He used money to buy the weight and then use people to multiply the time. So now every time he adds a person, more hours are going into his drug dealing operation. Boom, now he wants to move up. He's got big plans. He's frugal. He's not one of these guys buying diamond watches and shit. The Marcus says, man, I want to be a big time drug dealer. So he's living below his means, possibly still living with his mom. So now the Marcus, He's got more money, so now he's like buying bricks. The Marcus is out br buying bricks. Now, that's too much weight to give to these guys. So what the Marcus does is he starts selling to these guys. Yeah, he starts selling to guys who were just like him. Boom, and now he's just buying in bulk. He doesn't even need time anymore because you know he's just buying in bulk and selling. Then he goes to jail. That's how that story ends. <laughs> is everyone with me right now? It's the leverage. Now, the Marcus only used two forms of leverage. He used money and use people. Let me explain to you how I rose the ranks with my online fitness business. So boom, start my online fitness business. Bam, dad shoots himself in the head. Fuck, broke as hell, I ain't got nothing going on, I gotta save my family. I don't have no leverage, no money, no income, so I just use time. Again, y'all know the story, I worked four jobs, 12 hours a day, seven days a week for two years. I spent less than I earned, so I was able to actually amass some capital. So that was the first one, man. I raised up some money, but at the same time I was raising the money, I started building my social media. So once I had some money, then I started to build the business, come out with the build a website, stuff like that. And I started learning how to use Google ads, Facebook ads. I started w working to sell the products and service. And then social media started blowing up. So I got to like this level. I'm still by myself though. And then I get to the point where, you know, my boy Brian sees what I'm doing. He sees I'm making money. I quit my job. He said like, let me work with just do this together. I'm like, hey, no problem. Then some people start asking to work for me. I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. So we start hiring people. I'm still putting more money back in the business. I eventually built a supplement company and we had several different supplements and we kept expanding the line and I kept spending more money on ads, boom. And then I also kept building my social media and I kept building my skill set. I had to really get good at Facebook ads. I had to get really good at Instagram ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, all that stuff. I kept building my skill set is up. Then I get to the point, I keep hiring people, keep building my skills keep building my exposure on social media, keep investing money back in my business. Then we got to the point where we had like, I'm talking about like the first million, I probably had like 20 employees, but it was always building up the leverage. So just like the guy in the video game, every level when you get something, you wanna use that to get to the next level. So you wanna keep investing in your business to get more leverage. The whole thing is leverage and the forms of leverage are money, people, media, and skills. Now, let's see how this looks on a different scale. You could just have one of these that, be, that are really good. For example, again, Kim Kardashian, her media is so strong. She has millions of followers. Everybody knows her. She's on the cover of magazines. It's so strong that she can make a million dollars probably today if she wanted to just promoting brand. The media can be so strong. You could just learn how to promote brands real quick. She can, right? Or even me, like in my, in my DMs, I know for a fact there's a bunch of brands that want me to promote shit or sponsor me or they want to sponsor the podcast and I tell them all nah nah I'm cool but I could I could go get that money and it's easy where this is leverage that's the leverage of media I got a friend he made a million dollars last year all he did he bought a business for like 10 million dollars cash because he had that leverage and then he sold it a few months later for 11 million to someone else but he like kind of just made a million with the transaction. You have one of these really strong, you can really take you know advantage of that. Or skills. Larry Fitzgerald, he didn't have any of this stuff. His skills were so tremendous. The NFL just paid him a ton of money. The Arizona Cardinals paid him a ton of money over his career because he had the skills. People was the hardest one to get because you know nobody's going to get behind you unless they see some going or if they're getting paid. So money can help get you people. Money can help with all of these. As usual, the more you have these, the easier it is to keep moving up these this ladder. Just like the video game. So, what does that mean for you? You want to climb the ladder of success. Well, first of all, you need to start working on your leverage. Start thinking of this stuff. Start thinking about this right now. Stack money. Use that as leverage to get more money. Stack your skills up because the skills compound. Skills compound and you can never lose skills. You know what a good example is my man Myron from Fresh and Fit. He joined my program, High Ticket Trainer, where I teach trainers how to build their online fitness business. And he had a bunch of money because he did well with that program. He was making like six figures from online training. It allowed him to quit his job. But 
he took that money, boom, invested in his podcast. The podcast blew up and now he's making like a ton of money just because this is so strong. But then he still takes that money and invest in real estate and stuff like that. Or even me, I get money now, but I still invest in building up my media presence. This podcast studio costs $20,000 and then Nima got to get paid up. So that's people, but he's really good at what he does. He has skills. I invest half of every dollar I make in something that's going to make me more money. And it becomes like a cycle. This is the whole game of money. Using leverage to take you to the next level. Keep repeating that cycle. You keep repeating it. That cycle. I hope you guys are getting this because the truth is making a hundred thousand dollars is fucking easy. It may seem hard to you because you don't have enough leverage. You need something on one of these, right? It's skills or money or something, but it's the easiest level to hit. Making a million takes everything. It's going to take everything unless your leverage is so high. It depends on the leverage. My boy made a million doing almost nothing. Just bought a business and sold it for like a little bit more. It's all about this. I want you to think about life like this. Balling is like a video game. You got your man. He starts with nothing. As you move through the game, you acquire more leverage, powers and shit. And then you use that at the, at the next level. And then you get more powers and shit. It's the same thing with balling. But the powers are money, people, media, and skills. And if you can do that successfully, you too can ball. And ball hard.